Hello everyone and welcome to the DevScope channel. Join me today as we learn on how to pivot and unpivot tables in Databricks SQL. In this video, we'll talk about some techniques of reshaping data in Databricks SQL, and our main focus will be to pivot and unpivot tables. So let's begin by creating a sample sales table, where in the schema we'll put the year, the quarter, the region, and the sales. And as you can see, we have here some sample data. We have two different years, four quarters, two regions, and some sample sales values. Now, what about if you want to pivot this table in order to aggregate it by year and have the values for each quarter? What we can do is to use the pivot clause and we need to choose an aggregate function. In this case, it will be the sum of sales. And in the inner query, we say that we want the year, the quarter and the sales, not the region because we are aggregating by year. And for the final schema, we say that we want to select the year, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4, as these are the quarters. And in the pivot clause, we say that it's four quarter. And when the value for quarter is one, we'll create the column Q1. When it's two, we'll create the Q2 and so on. And this should be the final result. And as you can see, we have for year 2018 values for Q1, Q2 and Q3 and so on. Now we can also change the aggregate function, for instance, for an average. And if we run this query, you can see that we have the same table, but now instead of summing the values, we are getting an average of these values. Now, what about if you want to unpivot this table? Well, I've created here uh, the sample sales table as the table above, and now we need to use the unpivot clause. So for the unpivot clause, we say that we want the year, the quarter and the sales as we are unpivoting the quarter. And now we use the unpivot clause and we say that we want a new column, which is sales for quarter in Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. So these columns are going to be inside this column in the form of values. And as you can see the final result, we've successfully unpivoted the year 2018-2019, showing the quarter column and the values for each quarter and also the values for sales. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join us next time for more tips.